Hey guys, it's Fish Food. Um, the other day, or I guess it was last night, uh, I found something by complete accident in Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, I was practicing level grinding for the 80% speed run, and we discovered a really, really overpowered, broken thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the original strat was just you would unlock this door. When that guy leaves, you would use Dawn and Dusk, and you would get 100 experience approximately every 10 to 12 seconds. We found a way to make it more experience at about the same time frame, so I'm going to show you how to do it now. Um, what first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you've killed the guard, uh, the guards around. Um, in order to clear the camp, you'll need to be probably level 12. That's what I did it at. Uh, level 11 might work if you're really skilled with combat but uh, we did it at level 12 just to be safe um, so you gotta kill the two commanders and then grab the chests so what you wanna do you have to be really quick for this first part you wanna unlock the door and then you wanna immediately kill this guy Okay. once he's dead you wanna use dawn and dusk and it's important you just leave him there and I'll explain why once you've seen it So, once Dawn of the Dusk is over, you'll unlock the door. Now, if that guy's there, that's actually really bad. Um, been here a while, haven't you? Yeah, that's really bad. Um, okay, if that happens, just uh, reload quest objective. It has to be the civilians. It cannot be the rebels. The rebels, uh, they don't actually give you experience until they leave. And what, what I did there was that guy was glitched in there. He will never leave the gate and he will be considered not in the gate and in the gate at the same time I think it's very complicated so that was a little bit of bad luck but if you're watching this for a speed run this gives you a way to fix it if uh, it messes up now places where there will be enemies Sounds there will almost coming. always be one right around here of course this guy is not normally going to be doing that because I've got a bunch of dead enemies here um, and there's usually one right around here, close to the alarm. Uh, I actually got lucky there's not one there. And then check over here. Okay, so there's none of them there. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to unlock the door and we're going to kill him. You want to do it before it says he's been freed. If you don't wait, if he ends up leaving, it won't actually trigger the glitch. So once that's over, you want to open it up. Oh, and I've got a little bit of company. Oh, wow. Quite a bit of company, actually. Thank you. Let me go ahead and kill these guys. Okay. So he should be gone. Alright. So you'll see that he is still in there. The door's open. So I'm going to grab this guy's dead body, and I'm going to move it. It doesn't matter where. You can just throw it over here. That's where I put it. It's out of the way. And then you dawn and dusk again. And what you'll do is you'll do the exact same thing. There will now be two civilians in the cage, as you can see right there. There are two of them. The one with the dot over his head will actively try to leave, so you need to unlock the door. And then you'll dawn and dusk again. Now when you open the door, the glitch will now work. Um, okay, no, that did work. For some reason, that did not work. Let's try it again. If that happens, just pull the body out. And try it again. Uh, what should have happened was it should have immediately uh, given you experience. That's how you know the glitch works. It's good that all this stuff is happening incorrectly because then it shows kind of some backup strats. But come on, my console is lagging. In. It's great. Um, yeah, it's just my frame rate dropped like to two FPS or something. Alright, you'll know... Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't know if that's gonna work. 
like there, it, it gave me the experience immediately. Well, I guess there might have been a little bit of delay. I wasn't really paying attention. Alright, so now you know it works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can see that I got free prisoners multiple times. So I said earlier that the original strat, w strat was it gives you 100, 100 experience about every 10 seconds, which equates to 10 experience per second. And I'm going to let this catch up before I do anything. So, alright, so now I'm going to dawn and dusk. And then... You can essentially get, I think we maxed it out at about 400 experience per cycle. And a full cycle, if you wait it all out, takes about 26 seconds. Which we equivalented was f slower than actually doing it the method that I will be showing off. Because as long as the XP is popping up, it will count and it will back up. So like, it does all four at the same time and it backs up. But if you do it too fast, it won't register at all. So, what we do is we hit dawn and dusk. Open the cage as soon as you can. And then as soon as you see the number 100 pop up, dawn and dusk. And if it seems to be delaying every once in a while, try removing that dead body. I noticed that kind of happened a little bit. And see, it only gave me one experience right there. So if I move the body, it should work. Actually, I think I think you actually have to remove the body in order to get it as fast as possible. I know I probably sound like I'm all over the place. This was literally discovered last night, so this is just literally what we know about it. Okay, so back to actually how you're supposed to do it. You'll dawn and dusk, open it immediately. And then as soon as the number 100 appears, press your dawn and dusk button again. So that was one, so that was two sections, and then the third one will pop up on the way down, or at least it was supposed to. Okay. Sometimes it actually takes a couple rounds of you actually doing it in a row before it starts backing itself up. So there was a third one right there. And you, really, I should have waited until... You want to do every third one, so like one, two, three, and then one, two, three. You want to press 100 because you see right there I only got one experience from it. But if I hold right there, that's one. That's two. That's three. And then when this one pops up, I'll press it again. Now we did the math. And that fourth one, because you can get four per cycle if you wait it out, but we determined that was slower. If you actually uh, do all, do just three, that fourth one will back up. And so the longer you do it, the more experience you'll get. So we did the math. If that fourth one backs up every single time, you're getting 144,000 experience per minute because you get, on average, 40 per second. And if you don't get the third one, the third, the fourth one, you get 90k experience per second. So this is the fastest way to get experience in Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, like I said, we discovered this by complete accident last night. Uh, I was trying to actually die, or I was trying to clear out the camp, and one of the prisoners got killed by a guard. And then I noticed that it was just randomly giving me experience, and so we just messed with it a little bit and found a consistent way to do it. Um, huge shout outs to Cynicism. He's a big Assassin's Creed speedrunner. He's the one who helped me uh, implement it and do some testing and kind of lead me in the right direction to get this thing working. Um, but yeah, I'm Fish Food. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope.